we have in this moment that the democracy is a Latin risk it's very important because we're in a moment with the technologies, there is a revolution of the technology and, now, and everybody who has access to the computer can to tell his own story and it's so important. It's important because usually the history and if you see the history of the different wars in the world was writing for the people that has the power. They never have been writing for the people that lost the war, no? They never was writing for the poor people or the indigenous people, you know? And I think it's so important to be out and give the voice to the people that they have a voice, a very respectful voice, but usually the traditional media, the, there is not giving, putting a lot of attention to them. I think it's so important. Bloggers, we are giving the voice to the voiceless. And it's so important to be out and to tell the stories that usually the traditional press are not telling. We have a lot of independence, of course we are taking a lot of risks to do it, but it's worth it. Um, and it's something that we are doing for passion, you know? We don't receive any money unless my case. I am reporting about Ciudad Juarez, I am, I am reporting about the so-called war against drug trafficking from President Calderon, who is not a war against drug trafficking, it's a war that supports one of the cartels. Um, and I am trying, you know, to see the heart of the people, you know, why the people are in the business of drug trafficking, how feeling a mother with uh, his son was killed from the government, half a woman that is trying to find a news of her daughter for 14 years or for two years ago. Um, I think there is different kind of bloggers, but I am a, also an independent journalist. Um, I don't know, I am trying to tell the stories that uh, we need to tell, because if not, we will become in co-participant co of uh, genocides, wars and massacres that than uh, such the biggest major massacre and genocide in the contemporary uh, history of Latin America, who is the war against the trafficking in Ciudad Juarez. More of 9,000 people was killed in Ciudad Juarez, who is a city of less of than one million of people, you know. And the people was killed in a city like this, every day they kill between 6 and 27 persons. Uh, we live in a militarized city, completely militarized city. The President Calderon sent the soldiers there. And I don't understand why the bloggers, I am the only one blogger, but the journalists who arrive before than the authorities. I don't understand because authorities are in all other parts of the city.